Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In tonight's movie review, I'm gonna be doing a movie review on the 2023 movie, which is which is kind of like a horror comedy film that me, my dad, and my and my uncle Charles just got back from seeing at Regal. And that's gonna be on Renfield. Renfield is directed by Chris McKay and stars Nicolas Cage, Nicholas Holt, and as well as Aquafina and Ben Schwartz. So <clears throat> the movie is pretty much is pretty much about Renfield, who's basically like the torture to the tortured aide to, to, to his to his boss Dracula. And, and 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 of course Renfield is forced to, to, to procure his master's prey to, to do his every bidding. However, after centuries of servitude, he's ready to see if there's a life outside the shadow of the Prince of Darkness. And of course, you know, like like Dracula is just trying to is trying to like you know just trying to like you know just basically you know we basically got like you know a, a bunch of you know crazy violent action going on here because because th is this movie even like a horror comedy film? I mean, it is kind of it is sort of a comedy since there is a, there is a bit of humor here and there like horror humor, but. But the last act, but after seeing this movie, the last act kind of, kind of almost felt like more like an action film. Like it kind of gave, it kind of almost gave me like David Leitch and, and John Wick vibes a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, so that's pretty much you know what Renfield is about. Is it's pretty much almost like similar to Dracula, like how Nicolas Cage plays a vampire, and that's basically like Dracula, and. And of course, we got Nicholas Holt, the, the same actor from The Menu, Tolkien, as well as Warm Bodies. And yeah, so, so, so aside from all that, I gotta say, I actually really enjoy Renfield, D despite the mix, despite the mixed reviews from from critics. I actually, I actually really enjoyed Renfield, and like, my my dad thought it was good, and my uncle Charles really enjoyed it. Yeah, <clears throat> and even even though there are some some scenes that kind of blend in with the horror genre. And when the, whenever the humor comes on screen, whenever like the humor is is, is there, it, it it's actually done like in a decent way. Like the humor itself, the humor itself, I thought was pretty funny. Like like my my dad and uncle Charles laughed at some parts, and I I kind of chuckled too. Yeah, because this movie was like was very funny at, at some parts, and even and I gotta say the funniest character in this movie was definitely Aquafina. Like how Aquafina plays a police officer known as like Rebecca Quincy. Yeah, she, she was she was very funny in the movie. Like Aquafina, she's always hilarious. Ben Schwartz was in the film too, and I thought he he did he did great. Yeah, because 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 like, there there is some good acting in this movie. Like there is there is some 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 very good acting. Like especially when it comes to, like Nicolas Cage. Like he he's he's always fun to see on screen, even though some of his films are not even that good at all. Because Nick Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage is pretty much you know one of those. One of those like so bad is like so bad he's like a good actor because because he's been in some some horribly bad films but of course he's known for 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 his for his very very good acting and I and I remember last year me and Dad went and saw Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent and un, I actually really liked Nick, Nicholas Cage in Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent because I, I I it was fun to see him in Massive Talent and. And I gotta say, Nicholas Holt, Nicholas Holt actually did good as Renfield, and you know, it's like, and, and like I said, and like I said, the last act itself, like, like it, it, between, during the third act, the third act kind of almost, uh, kind of almost felt more like an action movie, and it, it kind of almost felt like more like an action in the film that, 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 that takes away from, from the horror genre, and it just like takes away from the horror vibes, because it kind of, because like I said, it kind of gave me like John Wick and David Leach vibes a little bit. And that's what my Uncle Charles said, like, as we were walking out of the theater. But yeah, and, and Chris McKay, I thought Chris McKay actually did a pretty solid job directing this film. Like, the way his direction worked, it actually kind of worked pretty well here. And... Yeah, and of course, it's basically how, like, the movie, the movie itself, that principal photography actually took place in, like, New Orleans. Like, and I think that's where the movie takes place, at New Orleans, Louisiana. And, and aside from all that, Renfield was a, a great movie. Because I, I don't really care what those critics say on Rotten Tomatoes, because no one even cares. Renfield was a great movie, and I'm going to give Renfield four out of five stars. If 
if if you if you've already seen the Super Mario Brothers movie or Air or any or any new movie that just came out this month, and if you haven't seen Renfield yet, then I say I say this is a good this is a good watch to check out. I, I say this is a good movie to check out at, at your local movie theater. And if and if and, and if you're looking for something, if you're looking for something funny and and scary, and of course like like and of course in, in a fun way, then I say I like I said I recommend checking out Renfield. There was also another Nicolas Cage movie. There was also another Nicolas Cage vampire movie that came out long ago called Vampire's Kiss, which I I still have not seen Vampire's Kiss, but maybe maybe one of these days I might check it out because I I've been wanting to check it out for like a couple years. But yeah, so there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for my thoughts and opinions and my and my honest movie review on um, Renfield. It was great. I liked it. So with that being said, thanks for watching as always. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mr. A Chrissy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.